Okay guys, we are going to title this video something along the lines of the next three stocks I'm going to buy my daughter. Rosara, who is the inspiration for this financial advice type of channel that I have going here. So welcome to the channel. This is Rosara's Investments. First of all, thank you for subscribing and giving me a thumbs up along the way. Uh, my name is Zara, and I'd quickly like to tell you that I'm going to be buying my daughter uh, McDonald's because we go there to eat. This is a large cap company. It's a dividend payer. I don't think I really have to explain what McDonald's is. I am going to be buying, and it's very, very easy to explain to a kid. That's very important to me uh, when I choose stocks to buy my daughter. The second one will be Apple. Okay. Again, I don't think I have to explain what Apple is. They make iPhones. I just repaired the screen on my iPhone 6S Plus, which is almost two years old. And between the screen and the battery and tax, I spent $200 there. So that is $200 that Apple made off me for, uh, I didn't even get a phone. You know, back when I got my first cell phone, a new cell phone was like 50 bucks, 100 bucks. Now I spend 200 just on the screen. So I'm gonna be buying her Apple. I saw a bunch of kids there in the mall. Um, they run like a daily camp, like a summer camp type of thing. And there was like 15 or 20 kids uh, in the summer camp. So these are uh, future customers of Apple. Apple is going to uh, be very, very successful in the future. It's very successful now and it's going to continue that success. So again, Apple is a dividend payer. It is a stock that doesn't have a super high PE ratio like the next stock that I'm going to buy her. And that is going to be Netflix. Netflix is a stock that Again, my daughter uh, uses the product. She watches uh, shows on Netflix, and I expect that she will in the future. She is two and a half years old now, and I expect uh, this trend to continue for the next 16 years. So Netflix is a stock that I will not buy myself because the P.E. ratio is too high. Actually, the price to sales ratio is too high. I just won't do it. It's too expensive, so I don't want to waste my own money. So I'm going to be buying her three shares of Netflix, and the reason is because she is young enough that she can withstand the weekly and monthly pr uh, price fluctuations. So if Netflix goes down by about 50% because everyone just realizes it's super duper overvalued, then she has a long enough time frame to uh, get her money back and uh, grow from there. Uh, because Netflix the company is awesome. Netflix the stop stock is super expensive. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to update you guys that I've chosen these three. So she's going to have a total of 17. I'm not buying them yet. I typically wait till around her birthday to buy uh, new stocks. But I mean, I could do it at any time and I'm just uh, updating you guys. Um, I just want to spark some ideas for uh, some people that have some long-term investments in mind and for uh, people that have kids. You know, it's never too early to start investing and buy stocks that they like. So I also want to talk about the number one quality that I think that it takes to become a millionaire. And I think, and I always say to people that becoming a millionaire is very, 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 very easy to do, but most people don't do it. And I equate it to uh, working out. It's very easy to have the body that you want to have. We all know that we need to exercise more and eat healthier. It's very simple. You know, you don't need to be a genius to know that. But to actually do it takes persistence. You need hunger the drive to do it. You need to be hungry to see those results and you need to be persistent. So I got inspired by watching some uh, Tony Robbins uh, motivational videos and he talked all about the having the hunger to be successful, the hunger to do what you want to do and that's so true. And I watched the uh, movie called The Founder which was about uh, how Ray Kroc took the one McDonald's location owned by the McDonald's brothers and turned it into what it is today. Uh, fantastic movie, and if, if everyone wants to watch that, it's called The Founder. It is on Netflix. And Ray Kroc basically said the one thing that people need to succeed more than intelligence, more than anything else in life, is persistence. So I think it's so awesome that they basically gave the same message. And that's the, uh, the big message that I have for you guys this month is hunger and persistence. You need to keep at it. Whenever I tell people to do something, like to start saving for college or to start exercising or to start doing whatever it is that they want to start doing. And also, whenever people tell me to do something, you always hear excuses. There's always a reason why you're not doing it. Uh, I'll give you something that I started and I pretty much failed at, although I didn't fail at it yet because it didn't happen yet. But I made up my mind that I was going to run a half marathon. And I started out very hungry to do that. 
and I was running approximately one mile every two days, which was I found out extremely, extremely hard to do. Running is a, a very hard thing to do if you don't run. Uh, if you guys know, I you spend a lot of time trading. I spend a lot of time behind a computer. I spend a lot of time at a poker tra uh, poker table. Uh, all these things involve sitting down. So when you go from uh, doing nothing to start running, it's uh, it's hard to do. So um, yeah, so I failed at that. I wasn't hungry enough to finish the marathon. I wasn't persistent enough at my goal, so I failed at that goal. But there are other goals that I will absolutely succeed at, and those goals include staying healthy, staying in shape, becoming a millionaire, getting my daughter to become financially successful. Those goals are probably a little bit more important to me than running the half marathon, so I do have uh, goals in place. And I still didn't fail the marathon, uh, I just seem to be super, super busy, which I know is the number one excuse that people say. So. That's not an excuse, it's just that I don't want it enough. That's the truth of it. I'm not persistent enough at meeting my goals in that case. But as far as being a millionaire, I do want that a lot. As far as making my daughter super successful, that is going to happen. And I'm actually starting a new job at Honda uh, specifically so I can put 100% of my poker earnings into my trading account and I can just consistently add to my trading account, trading account, add to my daughter's trading account and also uh, so I would never have to uh, withdraw um, any of my investments for uh, life things that come up. So hunger, persistence, McDonald's, Apple, Netflix, three stocks of the day. Thanks for watching guys. Definitely leave me some comments. I try to respond to all the comments and uh, I love to hear new ideas. Some of you guys have uh, been emailing me at uh, rosarasinvestments at gmail.com. So I will try to respond to all emails, all comments. Um, if you're uh, friends with me on Facebook or if you want to send me a message, um, I love hearing about stuff like this. So, you know, just definitely do that. So first of all, uh, and last of all, thanks for subscribing and thanks for the thumbs up. Have a great day, guys. Bye.